before we get any farther along, I'm going to put the galley plugs in. This one here is a front oil galley plug. This is the rear oil, uh, better known as a barbell. And then these are for basically uh, water jackets. Um, so this one will get some thread locker on the outside. Uh, for the instructions, these will get Teflon on the threads and I'm going to put a little gasket seal underneath the heads. So this is the hole where the front one goes. It's just a press fit. Um, basically we're going to use a hammer and a, um, and a punch here to, uh, to drive it in. Drive it in like that, it should be about uh, ten thousandths of an inch below the surface. For the screw-in plugs, I'm going to use some of this uh, Loctite pipe sealant with Teflon and just kind of go around the threads. Uh, you can see that where that red is there, I just took some gasket sealer and put around the uh, lip um, or the flat part of the hole. Between that and the Teflon on the screw threads, it should seal up just fine. 8 millimeter Allen wrench will take care of getting it tightened in there. You can see the three holes, that's the big one, one small one, one small one. Did the same thing as on the other side, I put a little bit of red gasket seal on. You should remember this from when I was taking the engine apart. Um, I don't have a big enough Allen head wrench that fits into here, but I found that this bolt head fits right down in there. Put some flats on it and then the vice grips and this is my wrench basically to get this one tight. Last one to go in is the barbell which is this piece here and it goes into uh, this hole right here and it basically just pushes no in sealant or anything needed goes in like this and when properly installed it should just protrude a little bit. So that's the barbell installed. Uh, I did forget to mention you need to put a little oil on the O-ring uh, seal when you, uh, when you put it in. Next step is to put the cam in. So what we'll need for sure is obviously the cam and that's from Texas Speed. We need a timing gear. This is the new one. This is the old one. I'll show you the difference here. The old cam had just one single huge bolt that went in the center. The new one has three conventional, more more conventional three bolts with a with a pin. Uh, we need the cam retainer plate, and these two things are dampers, uh, chain dampers. Uh, this is what was on the motor. Um, it's a you know it's it's a pivoting flexing thing. Uh, I look at that as things can break. This is what I got from Texas Speed. It's real simple. Uh, just goes in the middle in between the chain and I'm going to use that one instead just a one solid piece so first step is to get the cam bearings lubed up with the molly lube uh, get the cam bearings on the inside here I'm using the stick with some lube on it on the end so the molly lube so I can get the cam bearings on the inside now the ones on the outside I'll just get uh, real easily uh, with my finger Again, remember that I cleaned all the stuff up good. You know, just because it's a new part doesn't mean it's clean. You got to clean it all up. Now, I'm going to also put some molly lube on this as I uh, feed it in here. Uh, but realize a lot of it's going to wipe off as I go past each cam bearing. Now, what I'm not doing is uh, kind of the instructions say to put regular oil on the lobes. I'm not going to do that because I can going to make a huge mess, and I can get I can get lube oil on those uh, through the lifter holes. And go through. The next lobe. Kind of turn it as you go. You gotta get through all the cam bearings. As you get towards the end here, um, you can use a half inch extension. Stick it in the hole on the end here to help you kind of support the cam as you go through to, from bearing to bearing. Careful, try not to obviously beat up the cam. 
because you got nothing to hold on to. There you go. Cam's in. Now, the cam could fall out the back. Okay? So just be careful. Don't push it back because it will fall out. Spin, make sure that lube is on the cam bearings. The next step is this piece here, which is the cam retainer plate. You can see this gasket that runs around here. You need to put just some oil on that. That's going to seal against the, uh, against the block. And then around this hole here, I'm going to put a little bit of that Molly assembly lube because that's actually a thrust surface for the front of the cam. It's held together or held on with these torque head screws at 11 foot pounds. Here's the plate lubed up. So stick this on here. Screws. Snug up the top three holes first, then do the bottom hole. The bottom hole is actually just a little bit on the oval side. Time to put the sprocket and the chain on. Uh, to get set for that, you want to have your timing mark on the crank up here at 12 o'clock, there's a little dot right here, and have the pin for the cam about 3 o'clock, um, so off to the right. So this is the cam gear here, um, I'm going to put some lube on this thrust surface here, the rockers, and in addition to that, the chain. But anyway, so it's now time to take the chain out, I'm going to let it drip off a little bit, but it's well soaked because we have to put the sprocket and the chain on at the same time. This kind of has to be done as, a, as an assembly, as a unit. Here's the timing mark on the upper gear. It has to be facing down. Timing mark on the lower gear is here. So we have to kind of get the chain. Looks like my timing marks are lined up. Get the pin here lined up. I have to spin the cam a little bit. Looks like I do. I'm going to spin the cam. A little bit there. So I got the chain on. A um, bit of trial and error, but you can see those timing marks are lined up. Uh, a little dot there, and then the big dot there. Um, let me show you a little trick that I did. I kept having a problem with the cam um, falling backwards. So, and I did, was I just took this little piece of metal right there with, a, uh, with one of the bolts for the rear cover and um, just made it as a, like a stop. It looked perfect, so I didn't have to worry about trying to hold that in place. So I bought ARP bolts for the, uh, for the cam gear here. Um, I've read two ways. Either one, just put their lube assembly lube on, or blue Loctite. Talked to a few different people. So what I'm going to do is put blue Loctite on the threads, and but put the assembly lube underneath the head, and then torque them down to, I think it's 23 or 25 foot-pounds. So I had to put my, uh, my crank turning tool on here to hold the crank still because as I was tightening these, uh, the crank was basically turning. 25 foot-pounds. Last thing to do is to put on the chain damper, which goes in between the, the chain here. And these bolts get tightened down to uh, 18 foot-pounds. So then we're fairly smooth, cams in, chains on, dampers on.